Hey, I'm Jay and I've got something to say about Reaper Bones 3D printed models. So a little news and chatter on Reaper Bones. Um, so on the Reaper Bones 6 most recent update, um, there's a status update and uh, a preview for a power up, but also um, they announced that they will be using 3D printing for some of the models. Um, so the January promo promotional model was a 3D print and I happen to have it. Um, so there are some concerns about, you know, how durable it is, is it easy to paint, stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to uh, kind of compare that to one of the Bones USA models and see if there's any significant differences. Okay, so I also have these guys which are from a different company, which are also Siocast. So they have, these are pretty stiff. There's a lot of variety in Siocast. Um, that actually is, the video makes it look like it's flexing more than it is. Um, but actually this one's a little softer. So I'm pushing pretty hard there to get the, those bones to move. That's pretty rubbery. Um, this guy has this little hammer here. Sorry, the lighting's not great. Um, it's a little rubbery. It's There's a lot of variety there. Um, so this is the Reaper one. This axe, this is a little stiffer than the um, other brand, but there's a little flex to that axe. Um, this ogre club is really stiff. It's a little thicker. Um, and then this guy feels a little, eh, I guess he feels normal, light, but he's hard, he's rigid, very hard. Um, not going anywhere. Okay, so as a worst case scenario, I am using just watered down craft paint, not mini paint, um, as my base coat. Uh, so I don't expect to get um, complete coverage. I expect this to be a little translucent, but it's kind of gives something for the other paint to grip onto. So here's a big flat surface. Put that on a little too heavy. So we'll wipe off the extra. Sorry, I'm trying to hold my phone instead of using a, a stand. Okay, so you can see that pretty much adheres without running off. Um, now the Bellinose guy. Get a little heavier paint there. Oh, sorry, I didn't point that on there. So the Bellinose guy. And of course, this would be better if I could use two hands. Um, it's doing better than I expected. Like I said, this is craft paint. This isn't even mini paint. Um, okay, I actually had more problems assembling this ogre. Um, I don't know if you can see right here. There's a little line on his fingers. I actually cracked this diagonally through his hands. Uh, trying to assemble and then I had a little gap on uh, on this shoulder joint uh, that I seem to have kind of overcome but now his arms are stressed out so um, uh, I slapped a quick coat of brown paint on here so we can do a rub off test uh, which isn't quite dry so um, again this is craft paint uh, with one layer of color paint on it so if I just try to rub the brown that's dry here. That is pretty well adhered. Um, you know, as good as it does to the PVC bones. And then, and then same thing on this cobalt. The little round shield on his back has a second coat of paint. And this is the Bones USA material. So, about the same. Um, you know, nothing, nothing's, there's not an adhesion problem, it's just that I'm literally rubbing, like, paint granules off with my thumb.